something that's adapting already all throughout the globe and hindi tayo magpapahuli, right? We should, especially students, younger generation, you should be able to develop this type of thinking. So, Google actually has introduced us and shared with us, generously shared with us, this workshop that is in their G2G program, which is Googler to Googler programs. Right? This is a program where a Googler will teach other Googlers different concepts and they, right now, today, we are for free, we, we get to experience this one. So, CSI Lab, CS, CSI Lab, I know it sounds like the crime series investigation, crime, right? It's, but in a way, we are kind of like investigating, are we? Aren't we? Right? Because in design thinking, we are trying to really go to the core of the problem of a challenge. Right? And today, we are going to shift your mindset to become innovators, to become problem solvers. Maybe one of you here is the next Elon Musk. Right? Maybe one of you here is the next Mark Zuckerberg. Right? Nakaupulang. So today, we are going to get that creativity out in you and we are going to go through how design thinking is all about. So, where do you think we get our best ideas from? In the shower? Probably Friday night when all your team members has already left the office? Or when you're eating? Or I know, when you see your girlfriends and boyfriends, that's what you get inspiration. No. When you see your mom working hard, when you see your parents, right? Where do you get inspiration from? This question has to have been asked as actually more than 12,000 people and only 1% said that their inspiration came from work. No one is inspired to create at work for some reason. And we have to address this, right? Because we're always at work most of our lives. So innovation, they're saying here, is not a mindset. Uh, sorry, it's not an event, but a mindset. You have to think like an innovator. You have to think as a creator. You have to think not just a follower, but someone who leads and really creates and really do. And this is what design thinking is all about. So there are three principles in design thinking. One, you focus on the user. Second, you think 10x. 10x is such a buzzword in the industry. Have you heard of 10x? Right? 10x. So we're going to explain what this is about. And the last one is be prototype driven or create prototype immediately. And we're going through, we're going to go through that three principles today. So the first one is focusing on the user. Do you know Larry Page? Who is Larry Page? We only have one. The co-founder of UM Google. Okay? So Larry Page is the co-founder of Google and he said, there is no substitute for personally watching and personally listening to real people. You don't want to talk to robots, right? So if you are going to create something, a solution to a problem in your school, in your community, in your business, you have to ask the people on the other end. So here are the three factors of success. We have the user, we have money, and we have tech. That comprises a successful business, correct? But in design thinking, it's saying that if you focus on technology, you're going to waste money and your users are not going to enjoy your technology because you didn't ask what they need. You didn't ask what they want. If you focus your business on the money, how to make money, how to make money, 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 you're, you're going to end up wasting money anyway, right? Because you, you don't have that insight from your user. So in design thinking, it's saying that you should focus in addressing a problem, focus on your user first, and all else will follow. If you know what your user wants, if you know what your user needs, you get to develop a solution for them. And then they will see the value and then pay you for that value. Go out there. May gagamit ba ng app na to talaga? Or are people really going to buy this? Are people in Davao Buenos really going to eat 
like durian sinigang, for example, that only you like to eat, but you, you feel it's very like life-changing if someone eats it, right? You have to test it out. You have to go out there and ask them through the empathy map. Facts here is what actually happened, right? Inferences is what does it mean. For example, we have someone who's wearing a jacket here. That's the fact. She is wearing a jacket or someone wearing a hoodie, right? That's a fact. But what does it mean? It means that the inference is he is cold, he is millennial, hoodie, he is what? He's comfortable with it, that's inferences, right? The fact there is he is wearing a jacket and we're inferencing by saying that he's cold. So probably the aircon here, mas may maraming nagjakat dito so malamig dito na side. So that's the challenge. That's the problem of this auditorium and you're going to think of something, solution, because of that insight, right? So, next is, after asking all that information from your user, you need to go for a point of view. Now we try to, another bad example is, Jose needs more healthy menu options to have a better eating experience at Google. Why is it that not a good example of a point of view statement for your user? There's no specific, there, no one described, can we go back please? So the, the, that statement, they did not describe who Jose is, what his lifestyle is, um, where's the insight? They don't know what Jose really wants. Anong nireklamo ni Jose? Anong hinuhugot ni Jose? The wala dyan. Right? So we have to tweak it and we have to go to the first example where there is a user, which is Jose, there is a need, and then there is the insight. Next slide, please. So here, if you can take a screenshot of this for that whenever you want to develop your point of view for your users, you follow this format. This will actually change your mindset. This will change your thinking instead of just stating a problem. Okay, so instead of just describing your user, especially if you're pitching to investors, especially if you're looking for funding, or especially if you're looking to launch your business, at least you have a very detailed identification of who your users are through the point of view of design thinking. Next slide, please. Now, let's move on to framing your problem. We all have problems, right? But the thing with design thinking, if you frame your problem properly, malit na bagay lang yan, right? Because in design thinking, it asks you to think big. How do you frame a problem? You describe goals actually, not solutions. You don't put solutions in your problem. For this one, how might we create a food tracking app to encourage healthy eating? That's not a good problem. That's not a good framing of a problem. How might we help people eat more healthy? Why? Why, why are these not good? It's too solution-y and narrowly focused, right? It's creating, a, it's creating an app and it's done. We can't explore and expound more information out of it. And if that's one thing that I want you to take away from this morning is that be creative. Don't, no censor, right? And we're gonna talk 10X, right? So with 10X, before we go to this next activity, I want you to put this in mind. Be creative. Please encourage the yes and culture. Most companies, most schools, even unfortunately most households, they have a no nah, but attitude. No but, nah you can dance but, nah you can no wag na ka na mag sing, wag ka na mag audition for the boys. Right? Now with us doing this 10x activity, I want you to say yes and I'm going to go to the moon. Yes and how am I going to do that? How am I going to go and get money? Right? Those types of solution. It's so big but so ambitious and you're so scared. How am I going to pull this off? Those are the solutions in design thinking. Those are the solutions of Elon Musk. Those are the solutions of great innovators, of great inventors. And we want to shift your mindset to those. Because to be honest, we need more of that, right? We need more of that in our city. And I hope one of you who are here, you guys are going to be the next innovators, right? Next, no judgment. 
I know we're guilty of this, right? We judge our own selves even. And in the morning, we judge, we, we, feed, we, we analyze ourselves. But here, this is a safe place for you. No idea is so silly, no idea is so small. Every idea you have in solving our traffic problem, we are going to accept it. No one will judge you.